Hi, and welcome. My name is Jack Grippy. I am one of 300 proud volunteer guides for San Francisco City Guides, a program of the public library that provides free walking tours of the city. Today, I'd like to share with you a moment in San Francisco history that is included in my Golden Gate Bridge tour. This walk celebrates the iconic symbol that the bridge holds for the city. In addition, it covers the modern heroics that it took to build the bridge. But today, I'd like to recount a story where the road deck of the bridge actually flattened. One of the themes of the Golden Gate Bridge Tour is the incredible perseverance to prevail in spite of physical and political challenges that were overcome to build this elegant and innovative bridge. The bridge was completed in 53 months from 1933 to 1937 on time and within budget. Federal funds were in short supply during the Great Depression, but the bridge construction was paid for with bonds issued by participating Northern California counties. Such a momentous achievement deserved a week-long celebration that started with Pedestrian Day on May 27th of 1937. The festivities were highlighted by 200,000 visitors making their way across the bridge on day one of the celebration. There were many firsts that day. Daniel Bryant of the San Francisco Junior College track team was the first to cross the bridge by 100 yards. Others came on stilts, roller skates, and other modes of conveyance to get across the bridge. Sisters Carmen and Minnie roller skated from their home on Bush Street, leaving at 3 a.m. to beat the competition. Years later, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the bridge in 1987, San Francisco wanted to emulate Pedestrian Day by hosting Bridge Walk Day. Expecting about 80,000 celebrants, promoters were astounded when in fact 800,000 participated in the anniversary. A very orderly program was planned with Marin and San Francisco residents meeting at mid-span, Mayor Diane Feinstein and public dignitaries and the future San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown were on hand to commemorate the 11 workers that lost their lives during the construction of the bridge. The plan was to toss a floral wreath into the bay to commemorate these brave workers that lost their lives. The enthusiastic crowd could wait no longer and made their way onto the bridge starting at 5.45 a.m. that day, and soon the bridge was teeming with 300,000 revelers and probably four to 500,000 on the bridge approach roads. Under the incredible load of this mass of humanity, the natural arch of the bridge actually flattened. It disappeared. The bridge flattened out on, on that day. And in the knotted chaos at mid-span, the floral wreath could not be found. Committed to her ceremonial obligation, Diane Feinstein took the initiative and snatched Willie Brown's $800 fedora and tossed it into the bay like a frisbee. What a memorable and exhilarating event that must have been on that day. The one and only time that the road deck of the bridge actually flattened. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sharing this moment in history with San Francisco City Guides, and I look forward to seeing you on my next Golden Gate Bridge tour. Please be sure to visit San Francisco's website, sfcityguides.org, for further details. And thank you again for your attention, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.